Another quick mailbag. This is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not even going to go take this out because I think it deserves its own video, but you guys let me know. This is the Oculus Quest. This is a standalone VR headset. This is the predecessor of the Rift and others. This is a standalone, so uh, no mobile phone, no nothing. This completely, no wires, uh, self-contained battery, everything. So, uh, pretty excited to give this a go. I didn't know how far Oculus was along until recently. So, um, I'll put the link down below if you want to purchase one of these. Uh, do so quickly because uh, <laughs> I think they're just about sold out everywhere. I think the 64 gig version is sold out in the U.S. till after Christmas now. So, yeah, a hot ticket item. Anyway, throw a comment down below if you want to see some VR content, the actual content on the channel. Um... Actually, I'm going to switch lenses. Big thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this episode and making quality PCBs available at reasonable prices. Make sure you check them out for your next electronics project as well. Check out their advanced PCB services for more industrial or high precision uses. Check out their shared projects page as well, where you can share your project and earn 10% commission on your first one. That's a little better. I got one of these uh, standard vernier caliper, but this is actually made out of like a composite. It's a plastic. Uh, to be honest, when I ordered it, I thought it was the metal version, but I've been testing this out for a couple of days now, and it seems quite robust. Um, I have no experience with these these plasticky ones, and I kind of thought they'd be junk, but I'm so far I'm quite impressed. This is what I have used for many years. This is a, a really high quality Starrett. Uh, I don't even know what list price on these is now, but this will last me forever. It is a well and truly a wonderful tool. But for, for quick measurements, I'm thinking this might actually just be okay. I don't know, we'll give it a go. Some goodies from eBay. Connector assortments for making your own connectors. This is a servo style. I think these are noted as 3M style connectors. Uh, the ones standard pin pitch used on Arduino servos, you name it, it's the same pitch as a breadboard, but really handy for making your own cabling and your own connections. So, wonderful. Something I haven't tried out before, is I haven't needed it. I noted on this because I've already lost track of what they are. These are the AT24 C256 I squared C EEPROM modules. I had familiar uh, use of the 24 LC256 in the past, uh, back when we did what was called a dish testing. <laughs> uh, for those of you out there you, you, the, in the know, you'll know. But uh, when we were testing satellite dish stuff, uh, they did an update whereby we needed some more memory for some boards, so we put the 256k EEPROM on there, and sure enough, it was the same one as this. I still have them. So, uh, for adding on some more EEPROM memory to an Arduino project, also if you're adding EEPROM to your project, it's a good idea to, to use the external instead of the internal EEPROM on the Arduino, just in case you make a goof up in your code whereby you write something to EEPROM every loop cycle and then in basically mere minutes you can wear out the EEPROM on the Arduino itself. This a little less serious if you take out one of these. Very very cost reasonable. Next up this is from Creation Crate. This was sent to me to do a mailbag slash review. This is a subscription service that you can get involved with. Creation Crate. I'll put their link down below. And this one is a mood lamp. So it comes with, uh, you have to go to their website to get the information. Yeah, it's to a price. They, they, nobody includes instructions in a box anymore. They force you to go online to get them. Kind of don't like that, but so be it. Uh, especially for a simple project like this. I think they could include the instructions. Parts list, that's nice. We've got some LEDs and some jumpers. Arduino pinout reference, wonderful for someone not familiar with the Arduino. That looks like a nifty little uh, lantern cover. And here is a slick little Arduino Uno that looks like a genuine part or a complete uh, 
clone start to finish? Maybe, maybe not. One second. It really doesn't matter. There used to be a debate that, oh, you got to get the genuine Arduino boards. Uh, no, it's not branded or anything, but plenty good enough. Do the job. Uh, there used to be a debate back in the day that you want to use the genuine board. You want to use the genuine board, this one, if you want to support the Arduino itself, the, the company. Uh, this In this case, this is, a, this is a, a clone, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Also in the box, handy little breadboard. It's a good, it's the full length breadboard. That's nice. I'm a maker stickers. Nice. USB cable. Oh, this is the silly. I thought we abolished these by now. Why are people still making this? Arduino with the big old style USB. I don't even remember the letter code for those printer style. I don't know why. That's that's annoying. I, I don't like that. Um, I wish they would go to uh, uh, micro or a mini. That would be much more reasonable. Okay, some components. <laughs> massive, massive resistor. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> and some standard jumper wires. That's it. That's all we need to make uh, to make some lights. So maybe we'll build that up. Um, maybe like a lazy Sunday video like David Watts does or something. And just throw that together. But yeah, wonderful. That is, again, creationcrate.com. So I'll put the link down below. Next up, uh, these are just more OLEDs. More 0.96 inch OLEDs. If you have been a subscriber here for a while, you have seen these many, many times. This is a wonderful 0.96 inch OLED. I use them on my iNav planes now. I use them on just about every Arduino project because their I squared C only require two connections. So easy and simple. And they're so tiny. They, they just fit with anything. And then you have a human machine interface or HMI where you can see what your project is doing. So price reasonable, the, just every project need one. Okay. One more, and this is a little bit of a more strange one. Well, neat for me. This is a, a Stirling engine. Check this out. I got this fully assembled. It can charge or run a, a little LED, and it's a complete model of a functioning Stirling engine, which takes heat on here and transmits it to motion here. I mean, I don't know. This should be fun. It's just neat to play with. Under $30 for these things now. Built to a price. Unbelievable they can build them. But yeah, we'll play with it. If you like what I'm doing here, if you like these projects, if you like playing with things, well, hit a thumbs up and we'll see you next video.